at you all. Look at, you're, you're beautiful, you're stunning. You know that? What's your, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk to you, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> no, I was walking around out here before and, um, and I did see a couple of people looking and um, I think I saw you, sir. And I, I should probably address it. You're right, sir. Um, I do have my ankles out like a slut, okay? Um, I just heard if you've got it, flaunt it, so. <laughs> My breasts are up here, please, sir. You're being very creepy, this guy. Um, <laughs> do you know, I, uh, I actually, I love doing an acknowledgement of country. I think it's very, very important. And I didn't grow up on my country. I go there as often as I can. And, uh, and so I, I, I always think it's important to take the time to acknowledge where we stand, right? And I think it's something that everybody should do. I really do. I think that everybody should do it, whether you're white or you're a black fella. Everybody should do an acknowledgement of country. Right? You know, I mean, remember when Oprah made gratitude journals cool? That's how you got to think of it, you know? And I, I sort of, I had a friend come to me recently and say, I don't know, I just, like, it just feels awkward. <laughs> you know? And I was like, I know, so is genocide, you know? And, um, <laughs> well, you could think of it as awkward, you know, or you could think of it as fucking getting off easy. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of damage was done. All we're asking for is 10 seconds of recognition at the start of your fucking rural Easter parade. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's nothing major. <laughs> but it is important. It's important, right? It's important to remind us where we are and the fact that people have been here before. It's to recognise that people have survived here before and that you can continue to thrive here, right? But I was trying to explain this to this girl. And she's like, I just don't really understand. And so I remembered this metaphor I'd been told once. So when you think of an acknowledgement of country, think of it like when you go to your mate's place and you knock on the door, you know? And then they come and open the door and it's a blessing for you to come inside. But I also don't know if that quite works because nobody fucking knocked in Australia. So <laughs> instead, right, I thought, how can I make this relatable? I want everyone to feel comfortable doing an acknowledgement and taking the time to acknowledge where they are. And I thought, what's something that Australians love? Fucking sport, right? Aussies love sports. Aussies fucking love sports. And inexplicably, every sports game in this country is sponsored by fucking KFC, <laughs> right? And we're so happy to see KFC plastered all over the place. It's like, thanks to KFC, we can now kick a ball around. Like, we fucking love it, you know? Every 30 seconds, that annoying ad goes off. Did somebody say KFC? Blah, you know, like... <laughs> I thought... Actually, this might be a good way to think about things. Why don't you just imagine that the traditional owners of where you are are like the sponsors, you know? So that you take the time and you go, think of it like this, Australia, sponsored by intergenerational trauma. <laughs> the only problem with the KFC ad, right? Why don't we, we, we use the KFC ad, right? Imagine if we followed that example and uh, when you land in Melbourne, you step off the plane and somebody goes, did somebody say we're injury? And the only problem is, right, that the government seems to feel like the other half of the KFC ad, which goes, I don't care. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. God, I'm gonna let you in on a secret, all right? I have this terrible habit of using humour when I feel uncomfortable. And I know that on the surface that doesn't sound like a terrible habit, but I get myself into some weird situations, okay. Now recently I was in a particularly uncomfortable situation. I can't really, I was getting a pap smear, okay. Just for fun, mind you. Um, but, <laughs> no, but I mean, I've, got, I've just got to say what it is, but I can't beat around the bush. She fucking didn't, you know, and I... <laughs> <laughs> I went into the doctors and I was real nervous, right? She could obviously tell that I was uncomfortable. And so she tried to make some general chit chat to make me feel better, you know? And while she's elbow deep in me, she says, <laughs> can I just ask, what's your heritage? And I was like, why, what the fuck have you found? <laughs> and a chicken wing slid out, so. Sorry, that's disgusting. I'm obviously joking. I'm not a heathen. I was a drumstick. But, <laughs> um, no, but I realised in that moment as I left that I'd just missed my perfect opportunity to do a welcome to country. So, <laughs> you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop it. <laughs>